What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Content Corner. This is your boy, Herb. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Lens. As always, Lens is way more chill than I am. Um, I, today, I don't have the energy of youth. <laughs> I'm older than you! And? Man. Listen, Lens, <laughs> we're in the springtime of our youth, as a wise man once said. He's wise, but he's a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> Are you calling... The man who had the great uh, greatest ability to throw hands in the Naruto universe, a liar? Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> can I before we start, can I just say I wanna I wanna shout out to Guy Sensei and Rock Lee. They're out here. Like everyone around them is getting like planet busting energy beams and shit like that, learning command commandments and whatnot. And then they're like, I got these hands. <laughs> hands, straight hands. <laughs> These hands and feet. They're rated E for everyone. Okay? Absolutely everybody. <laughs> everybody can see them. Uh, anyway. <laughs> what are you Shout talking about out. today, uh, buddy? Today, we're talking about an anime that of re recently I recently finished. And that Liz has been wa ha wanting me to watch for like over a year now. Yeah, it's been a while. But the funniest thing about it is that technically, Lens only also only recently finished. <laughs> I, word, because I didn't know that like the last episode ever came out or movie, as a movie. Or, as a movie, <laughs> word. Like, OVA. It was weird. So to, to I think it's context, an OVA. It, it, it counts a, as it counts an OVA. OVA. So to give you context, the the season had twelve episodes, but it like ended on a cliffhanger. So I'm like, okay, I guess like they can stretch this into a second season. And then, like, I, you know, since I think that was what late 2019, something like that, yeah, right, it was when that season came out. And I was like, all right, yo, Herbert, you should watch this, it was funny. And then he waits till like early 2021 to do it. And, yep. he, and then he's like, oh, yeah, like, I'm like, oh, you ready for that second season? He's like, what are you talking about? I don't need a second season. I'm like, ended on a cliffhanger. He's like, no, they wrapped everything up. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, episode 13. Fuck you mean episode 13? What are you talking about, bro? Apparently, a year after the uh, anime, the season ended, they released the uh, 13th episode. Slash Which is like slightly over an hour long. Word. So I was, just, <laughs> I was sitting here waiting and I got no news and then all of a sudden. Boom. Boom. There you go. That's when like Rody comes in, drops it on in your office like, boom, looking for this. <laughs> bro all right so the number one thing you have to know about this anime is that the bench is the best fucking character <laughs> yo bench coon bench coon is the greatest <laughs> the greatest fucking character ever fucking written like it was it, it is a masterpiece beyond masterpieces so the anime in question is called the full name, but we're not gonna call it by his full name. The full name is Orewosuki Nanowa Omaida Kayo. I'm mispronouncing. I'm putting probably putting pauses where I shouldn't because I'm like reading as I go. Um, but and we're gonna call it Orewosuki. And but what the English, you know, the name would be is Are you really the only one who likes me? Which is why we're just gonna call it Orewosuki. It's short, sweet, to the point. You know what we're talking about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's like that other anime that I, what was the one you you always mess up like the name. I feel like I'm perfect. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you busy at the end of the world? Uh, no, that's a different one. I know that, there's that, the, one? that one. No, that's not <laughs> that one. Like I, there was one that I was like I showed it to you and you're like I'm gonna call it this. I'm like that's not the name. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, bro, it's anyway, been so long. <laughs> Yeah, I just remember because there was an a there was an anime I showed Lens a while back that was like <laughs> the, the the title was ridiculous. So he's just like, I'm gonna call it this, which is not even any of the words in the, in the title. And I'm like, that's not what it's called. That's what I'm calling it, <laughs> bro. Like I I think that if your title is just long and ridiculous and like it's a whole ass paragraph, I'm not treating your your title with respect because you didn't take the time out to pick a good one. I was gonna say like it can't be any worse than um. That anime that our buddy Kevin 
uh, what do you call it? Our buddy Kevin uh, told us about where the title was so long, it was the entire first volume of the series. What? Yeah. The the volume. The volume volume one was just the title. I am so fucking upset. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? A whole... Why? Just just call it something. Like, just... Uh, stop being lazy. Just fucking... Or, uh, or that's too much work. I don't under... I don't... I don't know. It's more work <laughs> to write all of that than ju- to just See, come up with it, some it, bullshit. It, it, it's funny because, like, the, fir- the title is... It's all of Volume 1 because while it's only the title for Volume 1, it literally is, like, an actual volume. Like, it tells everything about the beginning. Like the how the story starts, and then volume two is like just a regular volume at that point with like the abbreviated title on the front or some shit. So you're telling me that if you if you were to like like read that title, it'd be like, oh yeah, one day uh, this guy walked down a path and he encountered and like it just starts telling the goddamn story. Yeah, I can't with people. I can't. I can't with people. Anyway. <laughs> Onto onto something way, uh, that doesn't have uh, a shit. As, we, as we've as we've been discussing this, I've been going through my cr- my uh, Crunchyroll account to like see if I can find that long ass title that you were just like no. If it if it <laughs> comes to you, I'll pro- I'll probably like remember what I said or just come up with some new bullshit title. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so Orisuki. Orisuki is a light novel anime, which I was surprised it was a light novel series when I found out. Because seeing how the OVA ended, I'm one. I doubt that's where the light novel ended. I really doubt that's where the light novel ended. I'm sure there's more, but it's just we got an ending, and I don't care anymore. <laughs> uh, I think it ended just fine. You know, like I could see it going longer, but kind of like why? You know? No, I know. I'm. Uh, that's why I'm like, it probably did go longer. I just don't care. I got an ending. <laughs> and, and, and an ending that you were satisfied with, too. <clears throat> yeah, it's the same thing as with uh, the the anime for Grand Crest War. That was a light novel anime. But it ended. But it ended. Like, it gave me an ending. I was, go- I was good with the ending. And then it's like, oh, but there's... Nope, there's not. The story ended. It's over. <laughs> Thanks. So, uh, to tell you more about Orisuke, it's about this guy who leads, uh, I don't want to call it a double life, but he acts one way in public. Meanwhile, he has like a whole different personality, like alone, in private. And he does this, I don't want to say it's for like bad reasons, but, you know, he wants to hide himself from from people because he feels as if like it's not he's not a very likable person he's very um mean-spirited i'd say he's a little mean-spirited and like cynical yeah right yeah, yeah. Uh, i mean like he's one, he's one of those people that's like he's a, he can be a thoughtful asshole like he can a be a dick asshole. yes <laughs> he, can be, he can be a dick but at the end of the day like if you're his homie he's got your back at the end of the day like, you know, he'll he'll mess with you. He'll call your names, but at the end of the day, when you're in trouble, he'll, he'll show up. He'll be yeah. there. He got you. But like, he he doesn't um really show that side of himself. Like, if if he were to be like real with you, he would call you names and like give you shit all the time. But like, it it's out of love. Uh, which I want to point out: if your friends don't give you shit at some point, they're not your friends. They're not your <laughs> friends. Word. Um, but. So he ha- he kind of wants to uh, use this persona that he's created for himself to land himself a girlfriend because he just wants a girlfriend. I think as you he know, kinda, people do. He right? wants a teen romantic comedy. Yes, he does. He wants a teen romantic comedy. He wants to experience it. Call uh, back to Snafu, but right. Uh, so he, this persona that he's created is like, oh, perfect. Like I have like these, a couple of these girls who are like interested in me. And like, like if you were to like follow down like the path or the plot of a teen romantic comedy, I'm in like prime position to like land a girlfriend. And 
uh, I think the two girls that he's uh, quote unquote involved with is his childhood friend and uh, the student council president who yep. they are, they work together. Uh, he's in the student council as well. He, uh, he works with the council president, his, his senpai Sakura Akino, AKA they call her Cosmos. That's literally her nickname. I really don't like their nicknames. <laughs> 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 their nicknames are weird. Anyway. Uh, and then childhood friend is Aoi Hinata, which is Himawari is her nickname. And I'm just like. Where do you even so, get Himawari from? Man. So I will say this. My guess, because, and this this always goes like, you. Need, I feel like you need to understand specifically kanji when it comes to like Japanese nicknames. Because a lot of times it's like, oh, the kanji for my name can be also read as this because of like you can write it like the kanji for this can also mean this and stuff like that that's fair i've i have seen that before so it's like i feel like that's probably where they're they're so it's probably like oh if you take the character from this from my first name and this character from my last name you get cosmos and i'm just like okay (laughs) still think that's a bad nickname but we're moving on Anyway, and he's so, got a best friend. He does have a best friend, Sunchan. I don't know his real name. Tayo Oga. Sunchan. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he uh, he's like, all right. So these two girls, you know, they're probably like these are my best shots. One day, um, the student council president is like, hey, like, are you free on Sunday? You know, like, I want to, like, talk to you. I want to, like, ask you something or whatever. Cool. And he's, I want to hang like, out for the day. I want to hang out. Let's, let's, let's do some stuff. He's like, all right, bet. Cool. This is it. And he's, he's like, getting hyped. Like, yeah, this is it. She's going to ask me out. It's going to be lit. So they spend the day together. They, like, go to an arcade. They have some fun. They go to a mall. And then, like, towards the end of the day, she uh, says, hey, I want to talk to you. Let's uh, go sit over there. And this is where we are introduced to the best fucking character in the goddamn series, Bench Coon. <laughs> so Bench Coon is a bench. Straight up a bench. A bench. Not a, a person, bench. an inanimate object. A bench. And you Mind are... <laughs> you, I want to point out, mm. the series itself doesn't, for those who are listening, the series itself does not actually call it Bench Coon. That's what we called it. That's that's because what this bench. Uh, that's what the fandom calls it. Because <laughs> <laughs> because this bench, inanimate as it is, I believe it's sentient. It it stats are through the roof. Anyway, you'll understand in a moment. You can beat Goku. <laughs> I said it. I this bench can beat Goku. This bench is wild, bro. Anyway, so Cosmos <laughs> is like, hey, let's like sit over here, and they sit on the bench. And then she starts talking, like, hey, like, I, I, like, there's this person that I like, right? And he's like, oh, boy, here it goes. And, like, she's like, oh, I think about them every day, and, like, my chest hurts, and all this stuff. Like, my heart go doki doki. <laughs> Makes her kokoro go doki doki. Um, <laughs> and, you know, she's explaining all of this. And he's like, all right, here it is. Say it. And, and she's like, I'm in love with your best friend. And, he, and he's like, uh-huh. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What did you? What just happened? And and like she's like, can you help me like get closer to him and all that stuff? And he's like, so fucking like lost. He's like, I all right, I guess whatever. Sure, sure. Sad face. So he goes back into school and he's all sad and shit. And his best friend like catches on. It's like, oh, are you okay? Like, and he's like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. And she's like, oh, hey, like, let's let's hang out this weekend. He, he's like, all right, cool, let's do it. So on Sunday, they meet up, go to an arcade, have some fun, go shopping, all this stuff. And she's like, hey, I want to talk to you. Let's uh, let's go sit over here. Yo, Bench Coon is back, bro. <laughs> the exact same bench. The exact same bench. In a different bench. part of the city. So, so he was just like, what? This is familiar. Ah, I'm tripping. Whatever. It's fine. Mm. So she starts talking. Oh, there's this person that I like. And he's like, haven't I heard this before? And like, I, I think about them all day and like my chest hurts and all this stuff. And he's like, I could have sworn I fucking heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I'm in love with your best friend. He's like, I did 
fucking hear this before. Son of a. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, oh my god, god. so and the same thing she's like oh can you help me like get closer to him he's like what the fuck is going on <laughs> he agrees uh, but like then he's like bro like both of my fucking options gone go immediately what bye so, bye so wild shit happens so he's upset and he starts helping both of them get closer to his best friend but he like needs a break and because it's a lot and he's like just tight so he goes to the library to eat lunch because you know like he can just kind of be alone and there's a girl there and he finds this girl like quite unattractive people don't like her she's very homely or whatever and i i, I don't know what else which about. honestly like Putting myself in that those shoes, their shoes. If I went to the school and I saw honestly how that girl looked, I I still think she was cute. Like I don't know yeah, what. Word. Like I, don't, I like I honestly don't know what they were talking about. Oh, you know, <laughs> she's not very this or not very that. I'm like y'all are fucking tripping. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but see that see that my mentality been like really? Well, fuck, I'm gonna go talk to her. No one's gonna go talk to her. I'm gonna go talk to her. I don't. Pfft. Whatever. Okay. Anyways, his mentality is like I I don't want to get close to this person. Mm-hmm. So she's like, hey. Like your what's what's your face, right? I forgot his his name. What is his name? Uh, his actual name, like the main yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, his name is Amatsu Kisaragi, or his nickname is Joro. Oh yeah, people call him Joro. So like, Joro kun. <laughs> people are like, oh, oh, so she's like, oh, you're Joro, and like this and that, and he's like, how the fuck do you know me, whatever? And she's like, you don't oh, know my life. You don't know my fucking life. And she she's like, oh well, you know, I'm, I I want to talk to you. And he's like, I don't want to fucking talk to you. And she's like, word. Well, if you're not gonna talk to me, then I'm just gonna have to go ahead and like tell your best friend that like you're trying to get these girls with him, and tell each of the girls that you're working for the other girl and all this stuff. And he, he was like, what the? Why? How do you know this? How do you know all this information? <laughs> Why are you trying to blow up my spot? And he's like, I, I, I stalked you. <laughs> and that's when he's just like, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll talk. Fine, right, fine, let's talk. Fine, let's talk. Whatever. He's like, she's like, all right, bet, cool. Let's sit over here. Mind you, I need to remind you, they're, they're in the school library. And she's like, yeah, let's sit over here. And here comes Bench Coon. <laughs> Why is there a bark pension bark bark bench park <laughs> bench in the middle of a high school library? Why? We, we all I know couldn't why. tell you. You want to know why? Because Bench Coon is the strongest anime character ever written. <laughs> Breaks the laws of reality. <laughs> bench bench Coon is the rea- reality manipulator. Right? So reality they, or bench, she? You know what? Ben, she, I'm, I'm gonna say they. They. I don't know. You don't know. Bench, it's a bench. <laughs> it's a fucking bench. I can't give it a gender. I, I can't identify as gender. I, psh, no, it's they. They're too powerful. So, one, like, he's shocked, like, whoa, what, how, why are you here? Why is this bench here? What is happening? And then so she's like, <laughs> all right, cool. So let, let's talk. And she says, oh, there's somebody I really like. And he's like, oh, you know what? This is this is probably fun. She's probably going to, like, tell me that she has a crush on my best friend. I don't really have to deal with her or whatever, all this stuff. So she keeps on going, like, oh, I think about them every day, blah, blah. And she's like, I'm in love with you. And he's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so tight. <laughs> And that's episode one, right? That's, that's straight just episode up, one. That's straight up episode one. That's just the premise. Like they still get you started <laughs> on this, on all of this. Like, uh-huh. so there's like a weird love rhombus, 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 rhombus going. I could on. say square. I could say rectangle. But you know, what? I'm even gonna say rhombus. Five I'm it's a pentagon. There are, a pentagon. Five, there are five people. Can a trapezoid have five sides? No. No. <laughs> Can Damn. a trapezoid have five sides? I was going to say, I was gonna say it just, I, I want it to be a weird shape, you know? You know what I'm saying? Because it's not, I, I, I it can't it's be like. It's not even. It's not even. Exactly. It's, okay. It's a five-sided polygon, 
but you can't call it a pentagon because a pentagon assumes that each side is like is equal. equal. <laughs> so it's a five sided polygon. And later in the series, there are more sides to be added. It doesn't stop at five. Shit gets stupid. Anyway, it's um, so good. It's it's, good. it's funny. Like <laughs> just off of the laughs that Bench Coon gives me. <laughs> <laughs> in this fucking series is enough for me to recommend it to literally anyone. Bro, Bench Coon eventually gets his its own theme song. Its own theme song, bro! <laughs> Bench Coon, yo, I, tell me the last time an inanimate object got its own theme song. I would say Valkyrie Drive Mermaid, but that's only because that anime objectified women into inanimate objects. But did they have their own theme song? Like, did each... The main like, character did. That's not that don't count. <laughs> that don't count because <clears throat> like the main character out of the main couple, quote unquote, the main character is the one who got turns, objectified. She turns into an inanimate object, but she started out as not an inanimate object, therefore it is disqualified. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Bench Coon got his own fucking theme song, and it's amazing. Um. This shit is hilarious. It's a hilarious fucking situation. Uh, the the discrepancy between Juro's actual personality and like the one that he displays for everybody to see is just so large. And just like the first time I saw, it, I was like, "Whoa, that you're different, bro." I like it though. But <laughs> like, I like it. You, but you like different, you're different. different, different. Yeah. <laughs> Um, there's a couple twists, there's a couple of antagonists, it's, it's a good time to be had by all. It is, it is. And like we said, it's 12 episodes with one OVA. Uh, it is all on Crunchyroll, which is how I was able to watch all of it. Um, and it's all together. Like, they don't treat it as like a separate, the OVA is separate, something separate. They just literally put it as episode 13. Yeah. Mind you, I want to point out, it's an hour long. I sat there and watched the episode. I didn't even feel the hour the first time because I was in. I was just watching the episodes and like twenty minutes. Right, cool. I get to the OVA, not realizing it's an OVA, and I'm sitting there. And I'm watching this, and then by the end of it, I'm like, a lot happened this episode. <laughs> Wait, they, they how packed, long was this episode? They packed a lot in, huh? <laughs> these these twenty minutes. They they they. I don't know how they did it, but they packed a lot in there. <laughs> I'm just like, did 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 I did I watch it on like? times two speed Triple, what <laughs> i go to check the time i've been here for an hour what <laughs> that, I think it, that it, just it was, you were wild. you were lost in the sauce i was lost in the sauce and like you know what? but i was i was glad to be lost in that sauce it was a great sauce to be lost in <laughs> great so sauce to be lost. anyway um yeah i i love this fucking anime it's fucking hilarious man it i mean is it the most brilliant piece of writing ever no absolutely not but like it's funny uh it's lighthearted, and like it has an unstoppable bench like what else can you ask for <laughs> like oh man it's, it, it was just so much fun i definitely highly recommend this series now if you're the type of person who need who straight up needs action like combat in your anime then then, then don't watch it because then you're gonna badmouth it because it's it's not there's there's no combat it's not an action no adventure not, not at all if you if you require action and and all that stuff to watch anime then you're a child it's not your fault you need to grow up um <laughs> this is not for you it's not for you it's okay it's fine but if you uh, enjoy like uh slightly drama quality uh comedy some slice of life stuff like that it's 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 good it's it's mad fun i can recommend it yeah no it's it's, it's really fun um well, but i think that's enough for the spoiler free section of the episode because now i gotta talk some i gotta talk about this with full of spoilers, riddled with, riddled with spoilers, the Swiss cheese of spoilers. The Swiss cheese of spoilers. <laughs> all right, talk to me. All right, all right, all right. So, as we said, go watch it. it I'll, I'll include the outro a little bit here, but 
if you're gonna go watch it and don't care about spo- and do care about spoilers so thanks for thanks for listening follow us at on instagram and twitter the underscore content corner for updates of new episodes and our streams and catch our weekly stream on fridays at 7 p.m and sorry 9 p.m and lens on wednesdays at 7 p.m for his wanna be a jedi jedi fallen order run so now spoilers okay so <laughs> so how does bench coon get the imperial march as its theme song bro <laughs> as as dangerous as darth vader him fucking self <laughs> wild I was like, wild like the bench uh, appeared what (laughs) excuse me did i just hear what i think i just heard i want to point out joro's the only one who ever questions why the bench is there ever yeah like one time when was it the uh the underclassman who's like the manager for the baseball team when she when they were talking in the science lab and the bench was there and George was like, what the hell is this doing in the science lab? She didn't question. She said, like, yo, come sit over here. You're not going to question why there's a park bench in the science lab. Nope. Like, honestly. Nope. <laughs> See, Just... the thing is, uh, the, be- the bench rolled a 19 for stealth, right? <laughs> but Joro's... <You> deception? <laughs> yes, deception. Joro's insight, he rolled a 20. But the problem is, <laughs> even though he he saw he saw through the ruse, there's nothing he could do about it. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Oh my god, it was Benchkun. They are too powerful. Benchkun is far too powerful. Um, I thought it was hilarious that that at the end of the day, out of all the girls who are like after his dick, best girl is Sunshine. Um. <laughs> He he's not best girl. He's just who survives. <laughs> everybody else, Let's... everybody else left because like he chose his best friend. Because if he didn't choose his best friend, somebody's gonna be hurt. But he chose I mean, his best friend. True, true. Counter argument. Sunshan did everything for him. Like Sunshan pulled through literally as the homie. Yo, Sunshine did mad work that last episode. Bro, I the last episode, you. you gotta like think about it this way. Not only, right? Not only did he have to win uh, regionals, he literally had to pitch a perfect game, right? Yep. He had yep. to pitch a perfect game, and then he had to come through afterwards with all the fucking votes. Because if you if like uh, Joro needed one vote from the winning, mm-hmm. and then like when the other dude I forgot his name came through with like all the girls from his school was like, "Yep, I got votes. I got votes, baby. What's up? I got ninety eight. What up? Got ninety eight. And then like Sunshine was like, "Oh, what's up? It's not over yet. Mm-hmm. Come through. Now, and then, and now then, he also like, got ninety eight. Now he also got ninety eight. What's up? And he won. And I won the game." And I won the game. What's up? Perfect game. What's up? Oh, man. Yo, he even made up with his, uh, what is it, elementary school friend? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, like. With his catcher. I forget his name because, yeah, cause I forget his name because it only mattered for the OVA, so it wasn't important. But, <laughs> like, bro, made up with his, made up with his old friend. Because he found out that for his old friend, he was Joro for his old friend. <laughs> Someone that, like, he wanted to catch up to and, like, surpass but couldn't. Yeah. It's like, and I'm just like, <laughs> like, after everything, right? Well, what got me tight is, like, I'm not going to pick either of the fir- of these, like, the first, like, three girls, Cosmos, Himawari, or what's her name, the reporter chick. After what they pulled, it's like, oh, yeah, well... We want to help. We want to help her, but we also like. We all we all still want Joro. We still want his dick. So we're gonna make sure that the other dude wins, so that we we can get Joro. And I'm just like, bro, I was I, I was tight. I was like, yo, you really <clears throat> you really out here fucking up the plan? You really out here fucking up? Like, oh, can can we give you our votes right now? Oh yeah, sure. And then they all vote for the other guy. 
what are you doing? Can, can you not see through like the ruse I'm trying to plan here? Because, because think about it, if if he wins, sure, like he gets her, but like you're literally forcing her to be in a relationship she doesn't want to be in, or you're a- actually just allowing this guy to fully harass her. Like she said, no, she said I don't want to be with you. I don't want to fucks with you. And you're everybody else's reasoning around around her is like, oh, well, like he's not doing anything wrong. He's not forcing you to do anything. Right. But like he's harassing her. Yeah. And everybody and literally everyone there can see it like he's he's being overbearing. He's like too much. He, she doesn't want like this attention from this person. And and it's not like she isn't saying it right. She rejected him already. And he's like, oh well, I, well, oh well, I'm not gonna give up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, like, take the L, fam. Take it's the L. L. She said, no. take take the L. And and you're really just gonna allow this to happen? Like, what are you trying to what are you trying to teach people, bro? Also, his female friends who like had a thing for him is like, oh, we're just gonna support him because like he doesn't he he doesn't like realize our feelings, so we kind of gave up. And then we find out that he's also scum because like, nah, I know about their feelings. I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Well, I, yeah, he, I mean, the thing is, he was scum from the beginning because, like, he got no as an answer and didn't stop. Like, you already Bro, knew. I never trusted him from the, like. From, from the when, fucking when, when, get-go. See, he was like, when he came out randomly, right, and he was just some dude, I was like, all right, whatever. But the second they're like, oh, they're going to meet, and I saw uh, Pansy's reaction, I was just like, something's up with this dude. Or, I don't like it. Or, I don't like it. Why are you acting like that? Why are you looking all nervous? And then we find out with the whole, like, his, the female friend's like, oh, yeah, we, we want you to help us get him and Pansy together. I'm like, see, now I definitely can't trust him. Like, got women working for him behind the scenes? Word. What? Like, what, do you, what do you mean? Like, like they they came to Juro and all of them was like, hey, like, help. We want her to end up with him. I would have been like, well, that's one, none of my business and none of yours. So Why? Like, why are you doing this? Oh, we just want to see him happy. Like, that's his job. That's his, like, job to, like, be happy. Like, you can, you can, like, I'm not saying you can't help people be happy. But if it's at, if it, if it's at someone else's expense of their, like, free fucking will, uh, then, like, what are you doing? Listen, man, to me, they're the same type of people who, like, break up with somebody and then still expect their ex to, like, protect them and act like the like from slander and act like their boyfriend and knight in shining armor i'm like no no you have a man that's his job that ain't my job no more even if you don't have a man like that's not my job i'm sorry <laughs> why'd you get into an argument like why'd you start a fight you can't win <laughs> come on um yeah it's it's they just they just upset me so much and then fucking, I, like, immediately after the whole thing was over, right? Like you said, you're not choosing, like, any of those three girls. I would immediately turn to them. And I'm like, you're dead to me. You're dead to me. And you're dead to me. I'm like, what? Why? What do you mean, why? Fuck you mean, why? You you turned your back on me. Oh, it's just because we wanted to be. I needed your help. I needed your help. Listen. She and needed your help. This was for word. her. Let's not even let's not even fucking talk about me. She needed your help. You really gonna sit here and watch this man fucking harass her, and you and you call her yourself her friend? Come on. Come and on. And then they got upset when when like the dude sweetened like spiced up the the the, the negotiations. Like yeah, so we've already decided that like uh we're gonna spice it up that. Whoever wins, whoever loses, not only can never see Pansy, but can't see any of her friends ever again either. They're like what? And I'm like, yeah, because like, like I'm a deleted. No, existence. I wanna, I wanna change, I wanna change my vote. Like, not you. You came up with those extra rules that you can't change Word. now. Can't... Y'all all came up with the extra rules, trying to fuck me over. L- they literally made rules to make it harder for Joe to win. Yep. Like. Yep. actively acting against him. I don't know, but I would have been like, yo, you're all fucking dead to me. Like, every single one of you is dead to me. Don't fucking talk to me no more. Don't, like, you know, not, don't invite me you know nowhere. Much. Don't yeah. don't ask me for my fucking help. Nothing. Yo, like, you know, you know which girl 
honestly came through even and she's not even in the running for Joro. Oh, the, the girl, the, the girl who makes the the, the snacks. Yes, she came through I mean. all the time. She was not thirsty. She was not a thirsty hoe. She's like, nah, I, I just owe him. Like, he 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 literally saved me because la- last year at the infamous baseball game where all this shit started for everybody. <laughs> the fucking nexus. Because <laughs> let's it's be honest, like, it's a fucking nexus. It was. It was a nexus point, and it's just like, yo, I I didn't sell anything. Like I didn't really sell anything, and then this dude Joro comes through and literally buys up my entire inventory. Like, let me get what? everything. What? Let me get everything oh, one, you got. One, <laughs> it's like, let me get everything. Oh, one of everything got it. No, 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 no. You misheard me. I everything. said everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like that uh, Parks and Rec scene. I'm saying, listen, give me all go back the bacon there. and eggs you have. Wait, I'm afraid you misheard me. I believe you may heard me say, give me a lot of bacon and eggs. What I said was, give me all the bacon and eggs you have. <laughs> if I see bacon on someone else's plate, I'm fucking out of here. Coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's like when you order a pound of caviar with a single broccoli in it and you find more than one in there. Like, bro, I only asked for one. What the fuck are you doing? Anyway, um... Yeah, they're fucking dead to me, man. That that that's some some of the stuff in the anime like got me tight, but it was for the sake of comedy, obviously. But like it, stuff like that, where it's kind of like, yo, you uh, you're gonna actively work against me when you say you're on my side. What are you doing? Anyway, it's, just... it's fine. It's fine because like they didn't win. Sunshine one. <laughs> Sun- Sunshine one. And honestly, bro, listen. At the end of the day, if I had to pick someone to spend the rest of that day with, it'd be Sunshine. My man came through, like you said. Word. Hard body. Word. He deserves it. He won. They're going to nationals. Koshin, son. You know how many anime? <laughs> you know how many anime characters try to make it to Koshin and don't? And he did by throwing a fucking perfect fucking game? Word? I want a sequel anime focusing on Sunchan and his rise to the top of, of Nationals. Mm-hmm. 100%. And so, like, when he was, like, leaving the locker room and he was, like, all alone and shit, I'm like, why is this man alone? This man literally just, like, put the team on his back. <laughs> Bro, he needs physical therapy after carrying the whole team. Word. Like, the, like the, the, his catcher helped. Don't get me wrong. His catcher helped. But he put the team on his back. Why is this man alone right now? And then, like, Joro came through. He was like, he's not alone. He has his best friend. I'm like, all right. Once again, with all the snacks. With all the snackage. (laughs) (laughs) We are feasting like kings tonight. (laughs) Bro, honestly, though, those snacks looking pretty good, though. Just, like, fried chicken, fried stuff on the stick. Like, yo. Yeah. I'd be... Yes, that looked mad good. Please, who, thank who you. Who, I miss Takoyaki like... so much. Oh, I miss Takoyaki so oh much in this God. quarantine. I miss Katsudan so much in this quarantine. Oh, like... Katsudan, Takoyaki, Okonomiyaki, ramen, oh, sushi. God. All of it. Sushi not as much right now. Cause... Oh, yeah, you had a bunch of sushi. I, I had... <laughs> I got my, my, our, Remember, my neighbors gave me... It was supposed to be for my family, but I'm the only person in my family that eats sushi. So me, a platter for like eight. <laughs> yeah, that was a ridiculous amount. Bro, I feel like, uh, <laughs> again, reference to Parks and Rec. I'll take it number eight. Sir, that feeds 12 people. I know what I'm about. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, it's just, but, yeah, no, this Sunshine deserved it. He needs a sequel anime, and but which by the end he gets a girl because he deserves it at this point. He honestly deserves it. Word, he's, good, he's he a good dude something. that tries hard for his friends. He started out like a little shit. Don't get he me did. wrong. He, oh, bro, that episode when he turned on Joe, he's like, "Ha ha, all part of my fucking plan, bitch." I was like, "Yeah, wow, it's like that, bro." I was like, "Yo, don't fucking talk to me no more." Oh my god, I was so mad, so mad. But then but that then friendship he, got repaired. Growth. 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 Like they they all they like, grew together and like the friendship was repaired and I was like, damn, y'all really made mm-hmm. it through together. What a story. 
What a story. Mm. Yo, it's a good fucking anime, man. It's a good fucking show. And then, who was the one who actually said the title card? It wasn't any of the girls. It was Sunshine. <laughs> it was, I was, I, yo, he said at the end, I was like, roll credits. We're done. <laughs> Pack it up. Throw it away. <laughs> Bro, honestly, and, and he said it with that, like, beautiful still of them, like, growing out together, you know? So I'm just like, yo, that's it. Roll credits. That's it. Done. We're out of here. Word. I don't, I, I didn't need, I didn't even want that extra scene of, like, Joro and Pansy, like, walking together at night. Like, I didn't need a fucking that. You end, I, it ended for me back when Sunshine said the title. It was over. Like, <laughs> he won. At the end of the day, all these women vying for Joro's, Joro's time and affection. And who wins? His best friend. Because... He pulled through the most. He did the most work. He deserved it. Roll credits. <laughs> this anime, at the end of the day, is about friendship. It's about it's about uh, bros before hoes, or the women equivalent of the of of that. I don't know what the women equivalent of bros before hoes is. Like what they would say, I don't. Chicks before dicks. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That it's it's that equivalent. <laughs> By the end of the day. So yeah, you you, you 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 can get your you know your shit rocked, but like, they just got the juice. Your your, your homies, your best friends, they got the sauce. And the, sauce <laughs> the juice can come and go, but the sauce, the sauce is forever. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Fucking sauce. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, I, I I love this anime, and that's why like now, as we mentioned before, when I when me, Lens was like, "Yo, you need that season two. and I'm like, I, "I don't." I mean, like, I could sure I'll take it, but I don't need it. Oh, now yeah. Lens is on the same boat. Like, I, man, like, because <laughs> I would have been tight if I was like. So I ended up being lucky that I waited so long to watch it because I got the full experience in one shot. If I was Lens back then, watched 12 episodes on a cliffhanger, I would have been livid. I was pretty tight. I was pretty <laughs> tight. I was like, all right, episode 12, finished. I'm like, is, is episode 13 coming out next week? No. What? Man, this fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been livid. So I'm glad I, I lucked out and, and waited and got to watch literally the whole series. So I I, I do wonder how far the uh... oh actually m- maybe maybe that is the whole story lens. I think it is. Like I don't I don't see how they it, would do it, more. It's sixteen volumes of the light novel. Um, isn't that a this lot? Is sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, yeah. I feel like that's short. Or am I bugging? 16 chapters is short. 16 volumes? But for a light novel? Volumes, my guy? I mean, because it's a light novel, it's mostly words. You have to really craft the imagery with your words as opposed to just like a manga or an anime, which can... Sh- like, you cut down on a lot of words just by having right, actual visual. Right, let, let, let's, let's take a look at it this way. Uh, you remember uh, uh, Chivalry of a Failed Knight? Yeah. The the anime only covered four volumes. Three or four volumes. Hmm. And so and that now it's like twelve episodes. Oh. Damn. Okay, nope, I found the answer. There's a lot more if they were to do another season than they could, because apparently the anime only covers up to volume four. That see boom. What I Damn. say. <laughs> Damn. Right, right on the money. Damn. I mean, I don't Overlord has covered. In terms, of, Overlord is another light novel anime, but that one only covered, from what I read, if I remember it, and I remember the seasons where they ended. Basically, season one, volume one through three. Season two, volumes four through six. And yeah, like yeah, three or four volumes per season is about right. Because yeah. each arc is gonna be like each arc is a volume, each arc is like three episodes. Three or four episodes. Roughly, something like that. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty much the translation. So, so we, based on that logic, if they did like four volumes per season with Orisuki, they could give us another three seasons if they wanted to. They won't, because it ended. But like... I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm good. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine with that ending. Like, it, it's just, I'm just like, all right, cool. Because like, I, if I'm wrong, 
then so be it, and I'll live in blissful ignorance. But honestly, I'm just like, all right, cool. So, like, they just progress with their daily lives, blah, blah, blah. And the girl's still trying to get with Joro. Some shit happens. Other people get involved. Maybe some more contestants on this game show. But, like, at the end of the day, it's just going to be Joro and Pansy anyway. I already know how it's going to work. So I, I might I might take a peep at the light novel just to see if Bench Coon does some more wild shit. <laughs> but that's it. But that's You're it. just curious for Bench Coon, aren't you? I really am. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> he didn't make an he didn't make an appearance in the thirteenth episode, so I'm like, I right, bro, like that that definitely can't be it, you know. Yo, I would die if one day Bench Coon, like Jaros is down, and the person calling him to Bench Coon is like one of the teachers. <laughs> wild, wild, <laughs> scandalous, wild. scandalous. <laughs> Yo, Bench Coon strikes again, bro. I mean, look if. Hiki Gaia can like literally have a thing where like with they didn't they both wouldn't admit it to each other, but I knew for a fact that he he had some kind of feelings for his his teacher that was that were in the sense like if he was a little older he would have definitely asked her out and shit. Right. And I mean he said he, he said it he was like yo if we were yeah. if we went to high school together yo psh, wifing that up immediately <laughs> he, he said it and, and I don't and blame didn't, him. Didn't she like? Didn't she think it at one point to yeah. herself? Like if she was a little younger or whatever, something like that? Yeah. 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 Just. I mean, uh, depending on how old the teacher was, I'd be like, yo, wait for me. Honestly, me. I'd say that if I was in his <laughs> shoes, I'd be like, wait for me. Uh, Two years like, and I'm out of here. Two years and I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Two years and, and I'm yours. That's it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. I'll find a job. <laughs> it's all good. Take care. Yeah, of you. I'll find it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll work hard. I'll work hard. I'll I'll work part time and go to college. Shit. All right, that's all I have to say about this anime. Yes, that's all this I got under my under my. A belt. glorious anime of just scandals and laughter. I I, I so. can't wait for another one like this. <sighs> Yo, oh romantic God, comedies, I... good anime romantic comedies are are a dime, not a dime a dozen, one in a million, and it's very hard to come by. True. It's, it's very true. And well, I there's another one that I got to I got to finish soon that you that you told me about that was also good. Which one? Um about that dude who was like a gamer or something like that. Oh, bottom tier character Tomozaki. That Tomozaki kun. He it that one man i i need more i need more <laughs> immediately immediately the season's over right the season's over but i need i fucking need like i finished the season and i was just like god damn it i need more right now you know what i should wait a year just because like maybe we'll get an ova <laughs> don't you dare you asshole <laughs> Oh man! On that note, as always, thanks for listening, guys. If you didn't, if you missed it before, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, the underscore content corner, for updates on when new episodes of our podcast as well as our streams go live. Catch when Wednesdays at seven. Lens for his journey to become a Jedi Master to surpass the great Yoda, and uh, catch our weekly stream on Fridays where we co-op some games, sometimes with friends, sometimes just us. Who knows? And it's at nine p.m. on Fridays. So thanks for listening, and we'll catch y'all later. <laughs>